So most of the students studying for the SAT right now have a general expectation on how their SAT score is going to go up over time. For example, some students think that their score is probably going to go up in a linear fashion where they're going to make a little bit of improvements as time goes by. And some students think that, oh, I'm a genius. I'm just going to study for a little bit and my score is going to skyrocket and I'm going to hit my target score like so. But unfortunately, these expectations are the exact opposite of what actually happens in the real world. Because based on my experience working with over 200 students and successfully raising their SAT scores, their scores didn't go up linearly, their scores didn't go up exponentially, but it went up using a, what I call it, a stair pattern, which looks something like this. And it's very important for you to have a correct expectation when trying to raise your SAT score because working with the wrong expectation leads to a lot of stress because one of the most stressful moments in life is when things don't go as you had planned or you had expected. And all that stress is going to lead you to start doubting yourself, wondering whether you can actually raise your SAT score, whether you can actually go to the college of your dreams. And that will lead you to even more stress, which could make you discouraged and not want to study for the SAT anymore and just give up. And giving up is not going to be an option for us because we have plans for the future. We have these goals that we want to achieve in our lifetime. That's why in this video, we're going to go over exactly how you can set up a correct expectation so that you won't be stressed out and you can maximize the chance of actually raising your SAT score and go to the college of your dreams and make your dreams into a reality. And literally, this is so important when it comes to raising your SAT score, but nobody is talking about this. Which means after watching this video and equipping yourself with the correct expectation, you now have an edge over your competitions. So go ahead and smash the like button if you haven't already, and let's get started with today's video. So when it comes to having a correct expectation, the most important thing is to know that you're going to have these flat periods when you're trying to study and trying to raise your SAT score. You might be studying for a couple of days, you might be studying for a couple of weeks, but there is a very good chance that you are not going to see any improvement in those time periods. And that's because your brain actually needs some time to make the new incoming information into a second nature. And you're probably thinking, what the f is this guy talking about? So let me give you a more relatable example. If you're in the States, we know that every time we go from freshman to sophomore year and sophomore to junior and so on and so forth, we are assigned a new locker with a new combination in a new hallway. And we have to go through this terrible, agonizing, painful process of memorizing the locker combination. It looks something like 48. 16 and 27, something like that. And when you actually go to the locker for the first time, you got a combination on one hand and you're trying to like squeeze these numbers in. Dude, life is tough out there for a freshman. But anyways, you punch these bad boys in, you go 48, 16, 27, and boom, you open your locker. And congratulations, it only took you a minute and 37 seconds. I don't know how you're gonna pass the SAT. But the good news is that that's going to be the longest it will ever take because it was actually your first time opening your locker. And as time goes by, you're going to get more practices on opening your locker and you're just going to start to get faster and faster at it. And a couple weeks later, it's going to become a second nature to you to the point where you just walk up to the locker and the locker just opens on its own. And that's exactly how your SAT score goes up as well. You see, what I mean by that is anytime your brain receives any kind of new information, whether it be a locker combination or a concept on a triangle, your brain's going to need some time and practice in order to convert that new information into a second nature to the point where you don't even have to think about it anymore. You see a question on triangles, you just solve it automatically. And that's exactly why you have these flat periods, because during these periods, you might be taking practice exams and getting yourself exposed to different types of questions and absorbing those informations in. When you learn Pythagorean theorem for the first time and try to apply it on the sample practice question, man, that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, it takes you a hot second to solve it. But as time passes by and you get more practices in, the Pythagorean theorem now is a second nature. Anytime you see a Pythagorean theorem question on the SAT, you know exactly what to do. You're an autopilot. You see the question, you solve it in a matter of seconds. And most of the students are going to think that, oh my God, I just studied for two weeks and my score is not improving at all. I must be doing something wrong. I'm doing it the wrong way. My score is never going to increase and they freak out. The fact that your brain needs that time and practice to convert that freshly acquired knowledge into a second nature, that's the reason you're going to have these flat moments where you are studying for the SAT board, your score just doesn't seem to move. And when all that freshly acquired knowledge becomes second nature and those things all click together, that's when you start to see your score skyrocket like 100 to 150 point increase on your math section score alone. But to guarantee that your score is actually going to increase, you have to make sure that you are doing everything correctly. Because if you go to the right hallway, go to the right locker, but if you're practicing with a wrong combination, your score will never increase no matter how much time or effort you put in. And how can you maximize your chance of doing everything correctly? 
I talked about in my previous video. I'm going to link it up right over there. And I want to give a quick shout out to Fernando who has done everything correctly and was recently admitted to United States Naval Academy, which has an acceptance rate of just 8%. He was the first student to join the SAT Math Accelerator when I launched the program back in March of 2020. And by studying with the program, he was able to do every single thing correctly and successfully raise his SAT score. Moreover, we worked on his college application and college essay during our weekly coaching call, and he finally got his seat at the US Naval Academy. His full story is going to be linked in the pinned comment down below. And Fernando, this one's going to be for you, man. Remember all this stressful and tedious and painful moments that we had gone through together, preparing for the SAT math section, work on your college application and work on your college essay. It was a lot of work. It was stressful, but it was worth it. And without you even knowing these periods have built a strong foundation for you so that no matter what kind of problems you face, no matter what obstacles you face in the academy and outside of academy, you are prepared to conquer all of them. While you're in the academy and outside of the academy, you are going to do great things. And I honestly can't wait to see it all pan out. Proud of you, man. And if your name's not Fernando and you're still watching this portion, just do know this. All the stressful moments that you're going through right now, preparing for the SAT, keeping your GPA high and working on your college application, it sucks right now, but it's gonna be all worth it at the end because pain is temporary, but your accomplishments will last you a lifetime. Don't forget that. Anyways. The main takeaway you need to remember here is that whenever you're trying to raise your SAT score, you are going to have these flat moments where your score is not increasing. And it honestly happens to every single student. But as long as you are doing everything correctly, you can be confident that you are headed the right direction and you will eventually reach your target score. And as always, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave it in the comment section down below. I'll be more than happy to help you out and point you in the right direction. So that's going to be it. Thanks for sticking to the end and I'll see you on the next video.